My boy's squad, RJ doesn't know what a whoopee cushion is. So let's let let's show him and demonstrate what a whoopee cushion is for. Okay. All right, RJ, stand up. Put him in here. Yeah. And sit on it. No, 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 no. RJ, RJ. RJ, ready? Wait, I'll tell you when to sit. Okay, go sit. Everyone's like, what the heck? <laughs> Ew. Maricel didn't know what it was for either. She thought it was a pillow. <laughs> All right, my boy spot. So, dinner was great. Now we are going to meet a friend of mine from. I don't think I've seen him for over ten years. His name is Pow. I knew him since my college days. Oh my God! What? Guys, meet Pau Suryasak. <laughs> What's going on, man? Holy! Holy smokes! <laughs> How are you? You look exactly the same. How are you? You look exactly the same. You never age. <laughs> Guys, this is Pau Suryasak. Like, my buddy from like 2000. It's been... Yeah, o almost like... It's 17 years. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. Pow, you're driving a BMW? What is this? Like, we went from like kicking it in Western Road. Like, now you're rolling in a BMW. What's going on? <laughs> I remember your mom was telling me, don't take Mikey out. Don't take him out. <laughs> Get in so much trouble. Yeah, we used to, me and Pao used to get in trouble a lot by my parents, by my mom actually. Yeah. Wait, what are you doing now? Yeah, I work at an airplane company. Wow, wow, wow. Daughter from the bottom, now we hit. Put this in the vlog. What? Remember when I said when you get famous? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want that car you owe me. Yeah. You know what car it is? Wait, you it was. Car it is? Wait, wait. wait. Me, it lie. was a car. It was. Don't you lie. want? You wanted? Okay, don't cut it out, huh? <laughs> <laughs> don't cut this out. <laughs> I said I would buy you a. <laughs> I, I told you when you get famous, you're gonna buy me a Ferrari. And you know what you said? A Ferrari. No, but what you said was. Oh I'm yes, I know. Oh, it's gonna be hot pink. <laughs> and <laughs> whose picture is on the front of the car? Whose picture? Don't don't tell me. It would be Ricky no, Martin. No, no, no. <laughs> I would buy him a Ricky Martin hot pink Ferrari, and he had to drive that around. That was the that was the deal. Okay, pal, I'm buying you a Ferrari tomorrow, and we're gonna get we're gonna get we're gonna get the paint job of Ricky Martin on 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 the outside, pal. I'm a comedian now. Okay, don't mind me. Um, <laughs> I, don't I don't know how this happened. So, yeah, Pao, I do comedy and we've been touring the world doing videos and concerts. Yeah, I saw some <laughs> of your videos. They're pretty funny as <laughs> Your last one though, your parody for the Speedos. Speedos, yes, That's yes. right there. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm gonna bleep all of these swear words. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm Kids, I'm bleeping all the swear words tonight. <laughs> wow, my boy squad, check out this bridge. Okay. Unbelievable. Are, Good morning, my boy squad. Yes, I'm here with Thea, Hi. Zayden, and Zaldi, and RJ. Yep. <laughs> we're going to a really cool, special place. Mm -hmm. And we're going to try a very special food. Everything is so special. It's my favorite. <laughs> We're gonna be leaving uh, later this afternoon, but we can't leave without trying the world famous poutine. <laughs> yes! We're here at La Banquise. La Banquise. 24 hour restaurant, and apparently it's very popular. Very popular. The last time we came here was Sunday, we couldn't get in because the lineup. Was wow. <laughs> and interesting because every morning for work, I would pass by here from my place, which is just down the street, down here, and then every morning, and then every evening going back home, same street, I've always passed this place, have never gone inside. 
<laughs> I know, right? I don't know. I don't know. All I did here in Montreal was go to work and party. That's it. <laughs> I didn't check out the restaurants. Let's try this. Different age, different priorities. Wow. Ooh. Like it. Awesome. This is great. Look. Bonjour. Oh wow. Look at look at the decor. Look at the ambiance. Awesome. Oh wow. There's like driftwood. There's like branches on the ceiling. This is so neat. Wow, okay, so basically a poutine, guys, is fries, cheese curds, and gravy. That's the basic poutine. But look, they've got different kinds of poutines. Like, some with meat, some with different other toppings, some with chicken, la T-Rex, what? What's that? Yeah, Ground beef, like pepperoni, steak. bacon, and hot dog sausage? Wow. I wonder if I could just get the classic. I want the classic, la classique. So it's lunchtime and we're having our beers. Yes, Saint Ambroise. And this here is made in Quebec, right? Is it? Yeah, this beer is a Montreal beer. Nice. All right. I usually don't drink beer, but Wait, hey, we're in no Montreal. Yes, past. right. Hey, I've even showed this in a past vlog. See? <laughs> Canadians know how Canadians to pour beer. Pour beer. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Thea. You see? That's how to pour lift beer. The beer. Lift the beer a little bit because you gotta have moose. Right? To not have lots of head. The yes, see? Way. That's the proper way. See? Pouring beer without all that froth at the top. Yeah. Awesome. Alright. Cheers for lunch. Sante. Sante. Uh, RJ was not drinking beer. <laughs> Sante. Oh, that's good beer. Mm, tasty. Okay, now we're gonna exchange beers. Here, try this one. Okay. Oh, this is good too. It's lighter. Yeah, that one is really it's flavorful. Yeah. Guys, so Zaldi over here, the husband of. Thea is a sound technician. That's right. Oh my gosh, that makes you my new best friend. <laughs> if I ever have a show here. Oh, for sure. Alright, I ordered a Montreal burger and Montreal because of the famous Montreal meat. And then, guys, look at this classic poutine. Woo! I love how you pour that. I can't wait to eat this. Ooh, look at the salad. <gasps> Chicken salad. That's a lot of olives. Okay, so this is an example of a very fancy poutine. It's called the T-Rex. What's inside that? It's uh, ground beef, hot dogs, and, uh, wow. ham, and ham. All meat. Wow, all meat. Also, oh wow, check that out. Guacamole, ground beef, tomatoes, and of course, jalapeno peppers. peppers. Wow. This is called the reggae poutine. What? Uh, this is this is like a work of art. Okay, I got the classic. I'm, I'm just gonna try the classic, but I want to try some of yours. You came away spot here. Poutine. Mmm. 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 It's so good. Mm. So yummy. Mm. I love the cheese. Mm, gravy. Mm. Totally breaking my diet. But it's worth it. Thea, how's your reggae? <laughs> it's yummy. Oh my gosh. Can I have some? Yeah, go, go, go. I love avocado. Look at this guacamole and ground beef. <gasps> Don't forget the jalapeno Routine. pepper. Oh, with the jalapeno yeah. pepper. Jalapeno mm. pepper. <laughs> Let's try this, the reggae. Yama. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. I know, right? Mm. <laughs> mm. I'd be like Bob Marley all of a sudden. <laughs> you like meat? I do. We love meat on this channel. Look at that. This is a protein blast. Mm. <laughs> mm. 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 Now I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park. <laughs> <How about that? laughs> Let's try this Montreal burger. Today, this today. Okay, okay. I, I, I took a little. Mm. So I want to mm. try a little bit of everything. Mm. That's really good. Mm. 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 Looks like it's gonna fall. That smoked meat. Oh, so good. If you come to Montreal, you guys must try Montreal smoked meat. Very famous. 
Okay. Bite it. Oh! It's not. That is one cheesy cheese stick. Is it? Is it cheesy? <laughs> So wait, you guys both met here in Montreal? Yeah. Wow. And you both speak Filipino because of your parents? No. Where did you learn it? Friends. Friends? <gasps> That's great. I think it's great. All right, my boy squad. I'm just gonna take a quick stroll by myself. Enjoy the scenery. One last time before we leave Montreal. We're gonna be heading to the bus terminal in a bit. And coming back here has truly been quite the throwback. I feel like Montreal was the fertile grounds which allowed me to regrow after, you know, being torn down. It was like my lowest point in my life when I decided to give up becoming an entertainer. If you haven't seen the vlog from two days ago, check it out. But you know in like the iconic stories, the protagonist kind of has a low and then he escapes to some distant land where he regenerates in a way only to return back and conquer his problem like for example Lion King right he ran away and then he met Timon and Pumbaa and then he grew developed and regained the confidence to return back to Pride Rock where he conquered his ultimate problem right Wow, look at this beautiful wetland here. Gorgeous. Um, look at the story of Moses. He went away and then grew up and then returned to Egypt to free his people. And while in my case, <laughs> my heart felt like I was born to entertain people, but my world was telling me otherwise at the time. And it was here where I found my regeneration to get back into entertainment again and so I am eternally grateful to Montreal for helping me discover that life is great <laughs> and that you just kind of need to get away sometimes to regenerate when you're experiencing a low in your life when you're feeling defeated a place where you can just get away and that's completely different so you can find yourself again it's funny, I discovered that success seems to show up right when you've given up. <laughs> when you've lost all hope. I find success is kind of, it's, it's a funny thing that way. It, it almost has such an irony to it. Success shows up at the most unexpected, untimely, yet timely time. <laughs> if that makes sense. So for those of you who might be going through a low in your life or might be wanting something really, really, really badly perhaps it's a lesson you might be able to take from this Montreal vlog that you still can get it even if you feel you can't it'll show up at your doorstep whatever it is you want but you just have to be patient and enjoy life along the way So I guess this trip is kind of my way to thank Montreal for giving me my second wind, right? I wanted to vlog Montreal to show the beauty of the city, to show its energy to the world, to you guys, the Mobuhai squad, so that you guys can come and visit and enjoy it and appreciate it too, just like I did. And that's my way of giving back to the city of Montreal for all it's done for me. And it's just so fulfilling to see that Montreal hasn't changed one bit. It's just still as lively and vibrant as I remember it from nine, ten years ago.
Bubba Boy Squad, check this out. Apparently, CNN featured the parody, the Iowa Speedos parody. Look, crazy, right? This was CNN, like internationally broadcasted CNN. Wow. Damn these girls, I don't know what it is. I got something gets them working. Hypnotize them, oh, I already did. Using my powers, I'ma get them now. Oh. They listen to the vibe that I got. Turn it up, baby, they getting crazy. I'm a superhero, flying to the top. DJ, spin it up, up. All right, RJ, we're here. Yeah. That was a five-hour bus ride, but I like I like where we're sitting. Look at these seats that we reserve. See, look at that. The Tagalog word of the day for Buwan ng Wika, which is this month, this August. What's our Tagalog word of the day? Well, our Tagalog word of the day is biyahe. Yes. In English? <laughs> Trip. Yep. Good. There's my dad. Thanks, Daddy. Yeah, I'm on time. Yes, you're on time. <laughs> my boy squad. We are going here tomorrow. Woo! We're gonna go up there. The view is spectacular. My dad's joke of the days are always popular in these vlogs. Oh, really? Yes, oh. Daddy. My boy squad. Are you ready for the joke? Okay, okay my boy squad. Since they went, they went to Montreal, what do you call the noodles in French? The noodles in French? French? Yes. What? 